right solution for your customer. The third one, we'd like to share with you some of the partners. Of course, the last part will be um, having you fill out the survey and we'll do the lottery drawing. All right, so now let's get started. Uh, so, um, HD based FAQ, you know, frequently asked questions. So now, remember, we mentioned about the giveaway. Now, I would like to ask one volunteer. Okay, I got one already. And you don't even know the question yet. But, okay, so the question is, what's your name? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. Cool. So, Vicky, share with, uh, with us um, what are the questions that you will be asked when you are doing HD-based installation or proposal? Okay, that's good. So, what type of uh, interfaces do I need uh, to do the extension and things like that? That's that's a very good one. That's a very good one. Actually, let's ask for one more volunteer. Okay, to share with with us in fun. All right, go ahead, please. Uh, can, can I have your name, please? Let's bring people for the pronouns, please. Yeah. All right, cool. So please share with us what kind of difficulties will you face when you are doing HD based installation? That's good. That's very good. So basically, these are the issues that you will jump into, and basically, this page of slide will give you the answers to this type of question you face. So, usually three questions. Uh, for HD based key, three points. White cable, white cable, doing the extension, carrying five digit signals, done. That's it, for HD based key. So when people are asking you about what HD based key it is, you don't have to spend like, a, if you want to do it like one mini version, these are the three keywords that you need to know. But now here comes the, the challenges, right? Here comes the difficulty. Here comes the questions. So then people will ask you, what kind of cables am I gonna use? The distance, so how long does it gonna, is it gonna extend? The third one is, okay, five plays, so what are the signals? So basically, this, um, to quickly reply these questions, basically cannery cables up to 330 feet, and the signals we're gonna see later. And this table, this is my favorite table, one of my favorite tables, all right? So from here you can see, for HD base D, you're asked to assign, so you can take a picture of this uh, slide. So there are different uh, classes for HD base D, and uh, with different resolution, with different distance, then you will know what's the best uh, suggestion uh, of the cables that you're gonna use. Of course, we, um, you know, as the manufacturer, true manufacturer, we also have our model space in here. So this table should be uh, really helpful for you. Okay, let me pause it for like three seconds so people can finish uh, taking the pictures. Alright, cool. Alright, so the next question will be what kind of signals? What kind of signals? Well, basically, this this slide is actually coming from HD based on official lines. So, five play, five play, these are the five uh, signals. That including audio, video, internet, power, USB, and control. All right. But today, once again, the purpose of today is not just talking about technology. Today, like, thank you so much. Okay, okay, got it. Okay, got it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, uh, for, uh, uh, the purpose of today is not about the technology, it's about talking about true stories. So here comes the true stories. So today we prepare, you know we have a, like a lot of success stories, use case, but today we prepared three of them. Uh, from retail, hospitality, which is the bar, and education. But because due to the limitation of the time, today we can only share one of the successful story with you. But don't worry because the other two, when you go to our Aiken booth, which is right in that direction, you will be able to see the live demo of all these use case and successful story and true uh, stories. So now I'm gonna do another really quick survey and I need all of your help. Because I'm going, what I'm going to do is, I'm, look at, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand which one of the true stories that you want to hear. Okay, we only have one, one, one um, true stories to share. So please raise your hand if you want to hear about something about retail. Okay, give it okay. Raise your hand if you want to hear something about the bar, about the hospitality. Okay, that's good. Raise your hand if you want to see, listen to something about education. 
Okay, that's good, that's good. So, how about let's do education. Okay, let's do education. Okay, how many? Okay, okay, I, I got it. Alright, thanks. And now I'm going to use this HD BASD mouse <laughs> to uh, click on the hyperlink right here. Okay, education. So this comes from one of our success stories in education, and it's actually in an advanced school, okay? Now, from this picture, what I need you to do right now is try to imagine you are a teacher, and you are entering a classroom, and you are about to start a class. What are the difficulties that you're gonna face? I need a volunteer. Yeah, actually, I need a volunteer, because we got a lot of talking. Yes, please, what's your name? Ask me. Okay, so you're a teacher. When you enter a classroom, there are a lot of devices, right? So what are the challenges that you're gonna face? Get their attention. Get their attention. Interested. And and then know what you're doing. And um, of course, then you will need a lot to control a lot of devices, right? Right. So just, just like we mentioned, look at this picture. Once again, when you enter the classroom, there are so many devices that you have to turn on. You have to turn on the projector. Yeah, you got it. Good job. I like the interaction right there. There you go. Just show me some movement then. Good job. All right, so so the thing is, you have to turn on the projector. You have to turn on the TV. You have to scroll down the projector screen. You have to turn on all the devices. So that means two kinds of charge. The first one, you, you are a teacher. You, are not, you probably are not that technical. And there are so many remote controls you have to deal with. No kidding. I mean, if, it will take you even a while when you are trying to find the correct the remote control for the device, right? The, and the second one is, uh, so the remote control, the second one is, again, um, for the old school learning environment, it's more like one way, um, one way speech, right? But nowadays, it's more, more and more of bi-directional. So this picture, the, way, the reason why we have this picture here is to show you that, you know, kid, the students will be, get bored if they just keep listening to what the teacher is saying. So the second challenge is how to make the students be interactive with the teacher. So you need to something to, for example, um, put in their feedback, for example, um, the go back to video work, things like that. All right, so this is before, and you can see different remote controllers, lack of interaction. And this is after, okay? This is, uh, this is after for, uh, the first one is, if you can see from this picture, so what is the teacher is holding on her hand? A tablet, that's very good. There you go, good job. Now you, you know you should see it from. Okay, I'm gonna give one opportunity back there, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna throw it back there. It's okay, we got, we got a lot. Um, so iPad, so what's the benefit of using the iPad? Yes, good job. I don't know if I can throw it, I should throw it back, I should give it back, just in case I need some more. Okay, all right, so, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you mentioned mobile, that's good. And one thing is, does the teacher have to deal with all these remote controls anymore? No, just once again, so imagine you are a teacher, you walk into the classroom, you have an iPad, and there are buttons at the iPad. So, so basically, you're just hitting up one button, and the projectors turn on, the TV turn on, the screen project screen goes, rolls down, and the lights pop up, right? And the second one is, if you look at this picture, um, what do you notice? I, I need to give the opportunity to someone in back. What do you notice from here? Interaction, that's good. There you go. Thank you. So, the thing is, later on, actually we're gonna show you a video clip. Later on in this video clip, you're gonna see every student of, in that classroom has their own iPad. So what they can do is, they can do some drawing on the iPad. And we have to figure out a way to help them to have the video coming from the iPad um, to a big video wall over here, okay? So um, over here, uh, th this is the four by two video wall that you're gonna see later, okay? So once again, before telling you how we did it, we wanna show you um, the after, the after, okay? So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you a video clip, all right? By the way, this is the video from the bar, but it's okay, we'll do an education today. And you can go to the item booth to look at the bar solution, all right? So this is the classroom.
So now we're back, and I'm going to ask more volunteers. I'm going to ask two volunteers to share with us what you see, what do you think from this video clip. All right, I see someone is talking right there. Okay, you're the one. <laughs> He's not looking at me. Here you go. Here. <laughs> All right, there you go. Please share with us anything, anything about the video that you just, you just want. This is interactive. Interactive, good. Anything else? All the wiring is easy. Wiring is easy. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, any other volunteers that would like to share with us? Okay, no problem. So basically, from the video clip, you just saw. Uh, remember, we mentioned two challenges that's in this location. One is the remote controllers. So you see, the teacher is holding the iPad. Doing, he, she can even do the switching. She can even do the switching uh, on the 4x2 video wall, right? So in the classroom, you see, you see there's a 4x2 video wall and the projector. And the second one is at the end of the video, you can see there's an iPad on the table. And once again, one click on the app, iPad, everything shuts off. So it's really easy for the teacher. All right, so now here comes a, a little bit difficult part, but this is the convention diagram. We would like to show you how we fulfill the requirement, how we solve the problem. So as you can see uh, from your left hand side, this is the 4x2 video wall and some of the projectors. On, on the right hand side are the sources, right, on the sources. So here we have the uh, Apple TV. And you might be wondering what's the purpose of having, having Apple TV right here? Well, the, the members is, remember we mentioned there's an iPad for each of the student. So the student can Mir um, can have the video mirrored to the um, to the Apple TV and then all the way to the 4x2 video wall. All right. So now let's take a look at the solution here, and this is where you will see the video matrix and the HD based solutions. All right. So for this one, so you know you know that when you have multiple multiple input sources and you have multiple output. Uh, devices, you need a video matrix in the middle, right, to, do, to help do the switching. And besides the video matrix, because you can see the, the classroom is kind of spacious, so you will need some type of extenders. So in this solution, we choose the HDMI HD base T, 18 HDMI HD base T so, uh, extenders. So with the transmitters, with the category 6 cable, all the way to the receivers and to the display devices, all right. And once again, um, have, I don't know, have you noticed that in one of the uh, scenes where the teacher clicks on the button on the iPad, the video content switches really quick. You cannot even feel that the teacher is switching between the sources. So that's the power of doing the similar switch right here. So you can see this one, one new box can help you do the similar switching as well as the video wall, all in one box. All right, so this is the connection diagram, but I have to tell you this is the easy one, the easy connection diagram. The next one we're gonna show you is the complex one, the complex one. So this one, this is the control box. So once again, there has to be a control box to help to control all the devices. So for example, you can control through uh, serial, through IR, um, even, you can even control the air condition, all right. But here, what we would like to show you is once again, remember, you are able to turn off all the lights. So here are the devices that you have to shut them down when the class is over. So again, instead of controlling them inch by inch, this is where we use our PDU, PDU. Okay, so let's go do another quick survey. Please raise your hand if you, if you have heard of PDU or you know what PDU is. 
Okay, no, no worries. That's good. <laughs> That's our team. All right. All right. So PDU is power distri distribution unit. It's for uh, it's for um, you can plug all your devices, the power into the PDU, and you get to control your devices and you get to monitor um, the current uh, the current voltage of the devices. So once again, instead of controlling each one one of them, the control box will talk to the PDU and shut the devices down. Please go ahead. Um. Using the control bytes and the PDUs, can you set up power sequencing, or is it all just on at once? Oh, that's a very good question. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank okay. you. So for the PDU, basically we have different models of the PDU. So you can do like outlet level, or back level, or uni level. So you can pick and choose. It really depends on your requirement. To you can either turn on or turn off each of the individual, or you can turn them on and off. Thank you. All right, okay, so now let's go to the next one. So once again, I'm sorry because of time, I ha we have to skip the, the hospitality and retail, but please, uh, we, thank you so much. We have the live demo in the room. Okay, now um, we will go to how to choose the right solution. So now you see, well for you, your customers ask you, they give you their requirement, they give you their needs, but the question for you will be, how to choose the right direction or the right solution quick and fast, right? So this is the quick pre-sales form that we prepared for you and we found that it can solve basically eight, almost 80% of the project you're facing. So pretty simple question to ask then you will be able to propose the solution. So for the input sources, for the output things, and for the location. So for the input sources, pretty quick, four important questions. How many input sources do you have? What are the interfaces, like you mentioned, interfaces? What are the resolutions? How long is the distance? And a little bit more, we will always recommend you to ask what are the input sources because you probably have to consider HDCP compatibility issue. For the output 6, is it gonna be hard? No, it's pretty much exactly the same. You ask how many output displays, interfaces, resolutions, and distance, all right? Um, and for the application, once again, we will recommend you to ask, especially when, for example, they are using multiple, not just one, multiple HD-based extenders. That's when we will ask, okay, do you need to do video wall? For example, like the the, the piece that we just saw, they're gonna do a four by two video wall. Hey, are you gonna control the product? Do you need to extend any other signals? Because we all know that HD-based can extend five different signals, all right? So I'll just give you a quick example by, for example, by asking these questions, once we get the answers for each of the questions, we will know which of is the product that we will recommend to our customers. So these questions are pretty helpful. And the next one is we're gonna go through really quick a couple of slides um, of, we understand actually there are a lot of solution providers for the HD based either extenders or solutions. So why, why, why do you, why, why, why choose us? Well, the first one is we're the pioneer of the HD based alliance. We work really close with the HD group, the clients, uh, alliance. So, for example, the Intel's first HD based 2.0 DVI dual view extender uh, comes from A10. And the second one is our products are certified. I don't know if you you are using the HD based app, but if you if you go to the app and you look for A10, you will see a list of the products that are certified. So what does that mean by saying certified? That means we, A10, we will send our products and documentation to HD based Alliance, and they will do the testing. So to make sure that there's no compatibility issue, there's no interoperability issue. And the third one is, we are the certified, we are the certified trainers. As a matter of fact, we have the most trainers in the industry. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Daniel, right there, uh, Daniel is the, the trainer for Trend the Trainer programs. And Daniel was even in air, our headquarters in Taiwan in March to give us almost 20 people uh, a one day HD based team trainings. Thank you, Daniel. So, by saying we, ATEN, we are the certified trainers, that means we can give a 90 minutes of HD based trainings. Right? And the people who attend the training can receive the HD based installer certificate and as well as the uh, Infocom uh, are used. So, sorry, but let's do another quick survey. Please raise your hand if you are Infocom CES. 
please raise your hand if you want to do not see this. Okay, okay, good, good job. So for you, then you, because uh, for you guys see this, you will have to renew your units every every year. So you will receive the info no, I use. So look at the picture right here. This is actually the very first HD based T, 19 biggest training we did in Dallas with our customers with AT, and this is the uh, certificate. And here, really quick, similar switch. I don't know if. You, you, you know, or have felt the power of similar switch. But the thing is, again, um, in the education case that we just saw, there's no way that they, they're gonna stand there to watch the switching for like three seconds. So for traditional, you know, the time it takes like four seconds to finish switching. But with our similar switch, it will finish like just like that. Okay, within close to zero seconds. So similar switch and the video wall. Actually, all these uh, pictures that you see are the projects that we have been or have worked on. And the same um, project for, for this is all of them on video wall. And of course, we put the matrix and the video processing all in one box. So that's going to save, um, save you more uh, time and money and cable. All right, and the last thing is, um, I just like we mentioned in the um, in the education case, we also have the PDU and the KBM. So actually, Infocom, today we're right here, Infocom is quoted from Infocom. They say the global pro market is combined with IT right now, AB with IT. So as you can see, we not only have pro uh, audio and video, we also have KBM, we have PDU, and data communication. So if you're looking for some complete total solution provider, and you don't want to call like five different vendors when you are doing the troubleshooting, then we are the one for you. Because once again, for the installation, you, besides the ProAV, you will need a PDU. You will need some kind of management. That will be the PDU. All right, so we are close to the end. Uh, the last part will be the partners. So today, um, actually, we would like to mention two of our partners. Uh, the very first one is Alvo. Okay, so if we, uh, it's, uh, Alvo is the ProAV uh, distributor. So if you go to their website, you search for us, uh, if you search for A10, you will see a list of the products that we uh, that we have um, Alvo to help us to do uh, the promotion and sell. And they also, every year they have this E4 show. So let me do a, another quick survey. Please raise your hand if you have heard of Alvo or E4 shows or even went there. Okay, cool, 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 nice. So basically, E4 is where Elmo have um, the vendors, and we have the presentation, the training, and the booth, and live demo right here. So, um, um, quoted from uh, Melody, who is the VP of marketing for Elmo uh, Pro AV, um, because um, this year at San Jose, we did the HD based e certification uh, courses. So the good thing is, we you know we we help to educate the integrators on bad best practice. So within that 90 minutes, it's not just presentation. We have live them. So you will see for real how those five play are utilized. So these are the couple of the pictures that we did uh, in San Jose. So uh, as you can see, this is the presentation, and here this is when we show the trend trainings of the HD based D app, where you can find the certi uh, certified. And we, because we have our marketing team, uh, Noel is our marketing manager who is help, helping us doing the filming. So we even do some marketing events. And this is uh, Sammy, uh, who is right there, the account manager. So we, you know, we do video taping and we we'll post it on the social media. The second part is AK. Okay, so AK, I, uh, I think some of you are pretty familiar with. Okay, so you, once again, if you go to AK website, you can see AK right here and the list of the product lines that we have. And quoted from Steve, National Sales Manager at AT, uh, for this year, um, this is what he said, uh, AT has been uh, a proud distribution of ATEM products. Um, we are the forefront of the HD based solution, uh, works well with the projectors, and they provide excellent support. And the most important thing about as red is they are easy to work with. Okay? So we understand. I mean, uh, different vendors um, support and product lines complete, but I'll say, you know, easy to work with is one of the important things as well. So this is the HD based dynamic training that we did last month in May uh, in Charlotte, Atlanta, and Nashville. So you can see this is presentation, and we have some live demo right here. All right, so here comes the summary. All right, so 
true stories. Once again, true stories about what the needs really are and where the business is really is. So we talk about and we show you the true story of education, but we also have a couple more hospitality and retail. And always your customer comes to you, ask for question. So we are hoping that pre 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 sales form and why it will help you to choose the right solution. Of course, we have more true stories here in our website. And last but not least, it see is believing. So basically, right now we're right here. We are at the HD Base D booth. And with that direction, just a couple of walk, just a couple, then you'll go to Aiden booth right here. Okay? So for Aiden booth, I'll give you three pictures to have to, to you know have, have you have some kind of feeling and encouraging you to go. Uh, so the first one is you can see we will have a five by four video wall. Five by four video wall. You'll see a similar switch because of the video wall. And here we have a two by two 4K video wall. And here we have a video column and we have the control system. Remember how the teacher controls everything? That's pretty much the control system. And the most important thing besides all the solution and everything is our team. All right, so these are our team members that we did a selfie in front of our 5 by 4 video wall. So when you go there, there will be people there and they can give you a really nice tour. We actually have five different areas, a lot of things to see. So please, we encourage you to come. And if you go to our booth, once again, you drop your business card, you will um, get the ultimate price. So let's do a quick, so Noel, what's the ultimate price for the Aiken booth? Um. We have a Aki um, printer, I mean Aki projector, um, a, a, a gift from uh, Soltex uh, Z box, and also um, our ultimate uh, red whistle launch comfortable switch. All right, good job. All right, thank you. Uh, all right, and of course, once again, the most important thing is we got the team there. So um, that actually comes to the late last page. the business cards that you put in. So let's travel it. Uh, this is just a bit, oh sorry, sorry, okay. Because I saw my name, I was like, no way, I didn't put it there. So it's someone uh, else's email. So we'll ask our volunteers to help us to draw the cards. And to be fair, okay, Johnny, can you help me to draw the business card, please? But Johnny is our CEO um, of A10 Technology. Thank you, Johnny. And Johnny, can you help us to pronounce the name? All right, good job. Come, come here, Mr. Lakiyama. All right, and uh, do we have the $50 gift card? Do we have the $50 gift card? Um, hold on a second. Um, can you hold it? Let me get Oh, it's right there. But please, 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 uh, just, uh, before I'll uh, grab it, so we have the uh, fifth dollar gift card right there, and this is the power bank for you as well. So, um, but I'm sorry, but the uh, marketing manager is picking the, uh, the gift card. So, uh, meanwhile, let's do a quick interview here because we need to have her come back. So, uh, how do you hear of this event, the HD based in booth, and the and the, um, the this presentation here? That's good, that's good. Alright, so Noelle's coming back and I believe she has the $50 Amazon gift card. Actually, we have to mail it to you. <laughs> so, so ah, okay. 
Oh, okay, okay, no worries, no worries, we'll email to you, and we'll definitely uh, guarantee that you'll get there. So, one last thing, one last thing, please bear with me one more minute, one last thing. Um, so, if there's no further question, one last thing that we always like to do is, um, let's take a selfie together, all right, with all the people. So, how, um, can you roll, like, uh, face this way with me? Okay. Okay. And with all the people, a uh, lot of message. Okay, do we have everyone? So maybe, maybe like this. Okay, give us right here. All right, good job. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All right, so please come to our booth, number 2167, Thank you. 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 Thank you.